Good morning, you lovely lot. Happy Friday. Tim, out in the woods. It's also Good Friday in the UK. So this is actually, I'm a little, I'm running a little bit later this morning than normal because this is actually the third attempt um, I've made to record the video this morning. Now, what I did after the first two attempts, I thought I'll go in write my newsletter, which uh, David will be putting out fairly sh shortly. But the reason why I detuned from the first two attempts is because I've recognised or identified a belt of light coming in that has actually taken a little bit more navigating than the, the kind of the the fast moving kind of bang 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 energies that we that, that we've been receiving over the last few years or so it's actually reminded me of the april in 2019 where i actually had to stop step back and almost completely reassess how i tune into the energies that are coming in how i use them and how they are affecting me physically so as you as you are reading this you are probably aware of or experiencing um away from away from all of the 3d distractions this incredible quantity or incoming light energy frequencies that they they don't just affect us on a on a mental or an energetical level there's 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 quite a few of them that, quite a few of you that will also maybe be experiencing physical symptoms as well. One of the things that I've noticed is a, almost like a resetting of my, of my biorhythms, my heart chakra. And w when light comes in at this quantity, at this intensity, everything, our, our entire reality begins to vibrate faster. This, this, is, how how, this is how the energy shifts occur. Our energy is, is moving from 3D to 5D and as it does so, our entire, all, all, of, all of the reality begins to oscillate or vibrate at a higher frequency. All of a sudden this has come in and, and uh, instead of doing it kind of like tiptoe softly like it used to, it's, it's almost like one reality is just completely replaced with another one and we wake up or suddenly integrate with it and the platform has changed so this is this is what i'm picking up on this is what i'm experiencing now quite instinctively when this happens it's our natural response to it is almost like a state of hyperactivity it's almost like because this vibration is moving faster and, and every, everything in our reality almost speeds up, time becomes irrelevant. This is something that I've noticed or I've been picking up on recently is people say, what's happened to time? Where's time gone? Um, so you, you'll spend an hour doing something and it appears to vaporise in the space of five seconds and you look back and go, that would have been an hour. <laughs> that would have been an hour a while, a while ago. Where's that happened? Once your attention flows into it, time becomes irrelevant. Well, that appears to be kind. Of, uh, that appears to be the way things are occurring at the moment. And when that occurs, it's almost like we instinctively try and flow, um, or our brains try and keep up with this. And it almost it almost creates a state of hyperactivity and we get distracted by things that are irrelevant or we get tuned into energies or frequencies that we can anchor into because they're familiar. And in actual fact, they're, they're, they're vibrating at the wrong pitch for us. So what I'm guided to focus on this morning is simply stopping, stepping back. If you wish to just place your hand on your heart, take a few deep breaths and set yourself into this new higher bandwidth of energy. It's here to stay, basically. Once these energies come in, once this platform changes, there's no going back to the previous one. We have to set, we have to reset ourselves at this, at this bandwidth of energy. Now, again, 
what's this going what how how is this going to affect the reality around us of course what it's going to do is create more wake ups more surges in um no, not so much not so much surges but more kind of uh, for every reaction there's a there's there's an opposite or or polarized reaction and so what we're seeing at the moment particularly between now and august is an increase in the opportunities to be distracted or or take the eye off our prize and kind of return to the, the previous state or the previous frequency that we were vibrating at. And that, that you've heard me refer to it before, it's the box of tricks, it's the distractions, it's the all of the attempts by the old paradigm to keep us in the old paradigm. I wrote in my newsletter earlier on that there's absolutely no way of stopping an ascension process you can't stop what we are going through the people that are trying to orchestrate this this kind of 3d dystopia that we could with that we're all kind of we're all being asked to be distracted by it there's the only opportunity that they have got to ensure that that occurs is by distracting souls enough who are ascending to stay in that reality and the only way you're going to do that is if, is if you've got someone who signed the soul contract to stay in that reality and there's look at, looking at the numbers that are gravitating and migrating over into our state of consciousness at the moment. There's not going to be that many to play with, to be perfectly honest with you. So all of this is, we, we've got this huge new belt of energy. I, I'm, I might sound almost a little bit like I'm, I'm a little bit distracted this morning, but I'm still tuning into this as a lot of you might be as well. And uh, for those of you who have been following me for a while, this the, the last time I reported a shift of, of this speed was back in, it was, it was exact, almost exactly two years ago. It was April 2019. Well, all of a sudden I woke up one morning and instead of being able to tune in and function and baff, baff, baff like I normally could, it felt like I'd been submerged in in kind of almost, almost like trying to function in treacle a little bit. So I was trying to think, I was trying to work, I was trying to produce the same things that I normally did, but it, I was getting stuck. Some, something wasn't resonating, something wasn't happening. So after a few attempts, exactly like I did this morning, I kind of went, went, went back to base camp, tuned into the energy, and assessed exactly what was going on and almost immediately presented before me is this brand new shiny very high frequency liquid platform of light and so this is now what we're integrating with this has come in from the seven suns that you've heard me talking about previously this is the new playground that we've got for the next particularly for the next five months from from now up until the lion's gate and it totally levels or changes the playing field that we are interacting on the souls around us that are attempting to keep as many people distracted in 3d are going to have an even more difficult time creating what they want to create to to roll out the circumstances you're going to see all of this around you you're going to see it on the tv you're going to see it in the media be distracted by this be distracted by the by that you've heard me say it so many times but it's almost like you're listening to it now and it's just hollow words it's 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 like watching a tv it's like watching a tv program that you've seen many times before and the reality of it is you're utterly bored with it and you want to watch something else. So it almost has that kind of resonant effect. Everything that was previously invisible is now highly illuminated. It's almost like the sun is at, it's at high moon and it's shining down and all of the shadows that were invisible, the things that we couldn't see or we couldn't detect or we couldn't pick up on previously, they are now fully visible. Now, for some of us, that might be quite a shock. And I also spoke in the news, uh, I also wrote in the newsletter a little bit about how how many of us are 
waking up now, how many people are, are springing awake all around us, friends, family, work colleagues. And in many cases, the, 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 these wake ups, they haven't had the grace and the length of time or the navigation period where you've had, they're straight into straight in at the deep end. And we are their guidance. We are their lip, we, we are their, their anchors into a new reality. So this is why we've been primed for our jobs. This is why we've been trained so hard. This is why we've been pushed to get onto our ascension pathway. If you're listening to this and you are one of these souls that has woken up recently and somehow you've, you've been guided to this page, you've, you've, you've had it shared by somebody who's on Facebook or social media and you're listening to it, you, you, you've come to the right place. It's, um, there are so many people around you who are ready to guide, who are ready to just basically explain in, in either simple or even complicated detail what is going on around you. But most importantly, the, the way to navigate this is just simply to step back, listen to your heart, ground into the energy of the planet at the moment, and to see what the field presents. So this is this is this is this is the Friday message. This is the Friday energy. Just simply step. If if it's all getting very loud, so one of the things that or another another little telltale sign for me is when the energies are coming in at a very high frequency. My ears start to ring very loudly. Sometimes it's one ear. Sometimes it's the other. Ear. Or if it if it's if it's an exceptional quantity, it's both ears. Well, both ears have been kind of lit up for a couple of days now. So, guidance and messages for this weekend, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Bank Holiday Monday, all through the next week, is recalibrate into this new higher frequency. It's very high. It's 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 high frequency, exciting stuff. We need to physically embody this. We need to emotionally, mentally and spiritually embody this. This is, this is energy that is actually part of our essence, our core makeup. But on, on a physical reality, we haven't quite, we haven't quite acclimatized to it yet. But you will remember it. It will be incredibly familiar. You just step into it. It's like, it's like walking into a pool of water. You might quite not be quite used to the temperature of it. It will take you a few minutes to get your breathing right. It will get you a few minutes to, to mentally attune yourself to the fact that this is a different environment. Just allow yourself to ground into it. Breathe, relax, use your heart center. And most importantly, nature, okay? All of the birds, the trees, the flowers, the plants, the animals, they're already harmonized into this field. They don't, for, you know, we're, we're the only ones that are playing catch up, okay? Everything else around us is already tuned in and harmonized at this frequency. So let nature be your guide. If you're, if you're in need of, of, of kind of like, you know, a few, a few minutes, a few hours, a few days, or even maybe a few weeks, use nature, use the outside, use, Use the, everything that's available around you to just set that benchmark of energy for you. So that's where we are today. We've got this very high frequency stuff rolling in and uh, I will be updating more on it over, over the, next, the next week, two weeks as, as it comes in. But for me and for you, this is, this is, this is a lot. It's almost like when this happens, it's a clean sheet. <laughs> I know this might sound strange when we've got all of these familiar things going on around us and, and, and all of the same distractions, but the way that we can interact with it and our personal frequency, the vibration, it's taken a huge leap. So yeah, I hope that explains how a lot of you might be feeling at the moment, whether you've woken up feeling completely normal. Uh, it's like fair play to if you have, because you've already, you've already integrated, you've already engaged with it. But this, this, um, this new playing field, it makes life, once we're, once we're engaged with it at the right frequency, it makes life so much easier for us. And 
all we need to do is function from our hearts although the, the 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 transition from ego to heart is one of our biggest challenges at the moment once we're engaging with our heart once we're thinking with our hearts rather than with our heads then the whole thing becomes very simple it becomes very transparent it becomes very fluid so sending you all loads of love i hope you have a beautiful end to the week i hope you, you have a wonderful weekend and i will be back on monday with a walking meditation if you are if you are receiving my newsletter, then there will be lots of information about the wonderful events that are coming up. On the 8th of April, only, only six days away, I'm running, a, a, I'm cooperating with the amazing Carolyn Bennett for a workshop focusing on the new financial system. It's called the Great Financial Reset. That's, if, if, if some of you are thinking about that at the moment, it'd be an interesting one to tune into because Carolyn knows a lot about it. And on the 11th, I am going to be presenting with Raga for the Angel Congress. This is the second year now that the, the Angel Congress has gone, gone online. And uh, you, usually I'd be over in Germany, but, but we're, we're online at the moment. And that's it's an amazing thing because we can reach so, much, so many more people. And then David and I are presenting the second of the Archangel series. And at the end of the month, um, Diana Cooper and I are going to be working with the Councils of Light. But the information is on my timwild.com uh, website. So check it out. Sending you all lots of love. See you soon. Bye for now.